Today's shoot should be fun and also a mess. I've got tarp, I've got duct tape, I've got bin bags. I'm hoping I don't trash the car or any of my equipment, but I think hopefully the results will be worth it. So I went out with the idea of experimentation and I also had this one specific photo in mind that I wanted to try, which was like a composite image of me holding a camera, but not really, because I'm not crazy, and then having loads of power being thrown at me. I'm going through like, let's fake kill my camera sort of phase. <laughs> it's fun. So we went to a secluded area. We went to a beach, so I thought, with it being sand anyway, it wouldn't matter if we didn't clean up the powder after us. If we were in a park, on grass, or in trees, or something like that, I did have a tarp that I was going to bring out with me. But while it was sand and flour, I just thought it would be fine. And it was. But always be respectful for your environment. One issue that we didn't factor for was the wind. We had to sort of gauge how to compose the shot by getting the wind direction and using it sort of in our favour. The good thing about that was it gave a gust to the powder and helped us, but the bad thing was, because you had to throw it into the wind, all of the powder eventually was heading straight to the cameras. My shot, my idea, very, very rarely in photography, I think the idea that you set out to do actually turns out exactly how you imagine it. And I'm happy to say that I think it really did this time. We set the camera on a tripod and I framed it and everything and I drew a line in the sand of where I would be to set focus. And then we had me holding the camera and then we took the camera away and I tried my best not to move. I think I did quite a good job of not moving, I looked like a mannequin. And then it was just a matter of forcing my face to seem relaxed while all this powder was being lobbed at me. And then I made a composite image in Photoshop, taking all the best powder throws and having me with the camera in the shot to create the final image. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think the best test to see if it turned out well is when I put it on Instagram, a few people were like, oh my God, I can't believe you've done that to your camera. And that's exactly what I was aiming for. So it, it worked. Yes. Next time I do any of this sort of photography, I think I will shoot all of it on a tripod because sometimes you'll get the perfect pose, but the powder will be terrible. Or sometimes you'll get the perfect powder, but the person's wincing. If you can get the subject to stay still, there's no reason why you can't take the best of each of these images to make the perfect composite image in post, if your camera is on a tripod. The rest of these shots were handheld, which is why the powder isn't as, you know, voluminous. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> there's less of it, because it was literally one shot in real life. And if that's what you want to go for, sort of the realism, then that's great. If you want to have a bit of options in post-production tripod, and then you can add the best elements of each image into one final image. The powder that I used is holly powder. A little top tip is you can add your own flour. It's basically flour and food colouring, so it does wash out of everything. Um, but if you want to sort of bulk it out, you can add your own flour. I added my own flower and also mixed some of the colours to create purple and some different orange tones. So I ended up with sort of one small box to begin with and then one massive box full of powder sort of at the end. In terms of composition, I think there are two things that work really well with the powder photography. One is having a graceful sort of relaxed pose. So it's a juxtaposition between the chaos and having a relaxed subject. It's harder than you think to do. Um, and I think the other way to do it is really add in action. So you've seen shots of maybe people jumping and, and spinning and, and doing really cool poses, sort of karate chopping and whatever. I think either way you want to go with it, that's how you get it to look most effective. Thank you very much for watching.